happy Monday. Welcome to Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Maddie Conklin. Did How you, are we doing? Did you take a five-hour energy? I did not. Okay. However, I you were very energetic. I liked it. I well, just didn't know. It's the start of the show. I can't oh. be like, hi everyone. I'm well, you should, Conklin. Well, you should start there and then build up. <laughs> Wait, what's that? What's that sketch? Um, the Debbie Downer. Wah, wah. Wah. Oh yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Rachel Drash. She was like, and now I can't have children. Wah, wah. Wah. And then, the horns are no, we, we are not bringing that. No. We are bringing positive. Not at all. Five hour, two hour energy. Two. <laughs> if they could you. make two hour energies, I'd be set. <laughs> five hours is just a little bit too long. Yes. A little bit too long. So, how was your weekend? It was good. I got my bathroom tile uh, in. It's laid. The tile is laid. Got to okay. grout it sometime, maybe next week. I'm going to let it sit for as long as possible to make sure the uh, mortar hardens. But then after that, I'm just so happy because the majority of the house is 99.9% done. Until it's not. Until, yeah. Until you find another project. <laughs> and I will. Well, I was thinking about you because mm -hmm. obviously yard work. What else do I do yeah. with my spare time? Did you see my Instagram video? I did. That way. And then you know what's funny though, by the way? What? You did your video. That gadget you used, the sponsored post for that kept popping up on my Instagram. Seriously? Not kidding. That little thing you dug in and did. And anyway, I'll let you tell about it. But it was funny. I watched it and then all of a sudden, Everything that kept coming. That up. is so crazy. Okay, so basically, I got a weed puller, and I spent at least two, two and a half hours on Friday afternoon just digging up weeds. Like I could not stop myself. And this is a really sad um, admission that I'm about to tell y'all. It was the second most viewed reel I've ever had in my Instagram career, and it was 708 views. Well, that's, that's time good. I checked. Well, that's good. Why? I mean, why is that bad? Because it should be like a lot more, but. <laughs> I think, I feel like 708 views is really good. And I had so many people in my comments saying, I need this, where did you get this? And it well, was just an Amazon purchase. And here's what you do, like her post, and then it will show up on your sponsored post. Boom. Then That's what happened to me? Just get, it is the most satisfying thing. I got some onions up yesterday, mm -hmm. too. Like, it didn't stop on Friday. It continued Saturday morning when I let the dogs out, Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning when I let the dogs out, and Sunday afternoon. Very <laughs> Good for you. Yes, but Good I also went go-karting, which I was a little scared to do, even though I drive a car every single day. Go-karting just seemed a little intense, almost spun out like Mario, um, because two people were being, you know, a little aggressive, if you will, and there was no bumping. All right. So, There yeah, you go. There we are. Also, side note, our Reba Melissa Peterman thing is still happening. We're still posting. We posted on Saturday. We posted again on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Maddie texted me that Melissa Peterman did comment. She did comment. She just gave a bunch of hearts. We did not get a um, confirmation confirmation mm -mm. of she will come on the show, but she liked the comment. And so then, she saw it. And then hearted it. And hearted like, it. Heart, 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 heart. Multiple hearts. So now it's just getting Reba on board. Oh, by the way, fun fact my good friend Jeremy Hudson in Branson. Okay. So I, I forgot to tell you because there we go. Jeremy Hudson messaged me on whatever day that was, Saturday maybe? Okay. And said, hey, by the way, I sent your video to my friend who's friends with Reba. Oh. So. Are you serious? Dead serious. Sorry. Okay. Buried the lead. Forgot about that. Yeah. Jeremy Hudson, thank you for doing that. He'd seen the video and he messaged me, hey, Jeremy, just letting you know, hey, I forwarded your video to my friend. He's good friends with Reba. So blah, blah, blah. I'm like. Maybe we start tagging Kelly Clarkson. I know that's Let's her ex-husband's dad that was married to her. But maybe we start tagging her. I don't and know. I don't know if Reba or Kelly talk to the Black Stocks anymore. We don't know. I don't know. know. <laughs> We could also reach out to, uh, Jake said who? Publicist. Publicist, we could, but we, we don't could. want to do that. That's not fun. No, we want it all natural. We want it to be like will. organic, viral, you know, social media driven. Yes. Like, why don't you go on the show, Reba? So we just re, we need to repost it, repost it. By the way, I saw the funniest episode of Reba this weekend, because you know I'm addicted to it. <laughs> yeah. And it's when Barbara Jean gets rid of the hamster and she's having like sleep apnea and she starts beating up her husband Brock in bed while she's sleeping. <laughs> I laughed so hard I was crying. I don't know why I thought it was so funny, but she kept just beating him up <laughs> to a pulp while they're sleeping. Well, if Jesse Inman knows anything about you, Jeremy, it's oh. like you like to hit things. You like to hit people I, and slap um, people. That is the weirdest transition because that's not me oh. at all. You always go, oh, and then I'll just smack you in the face. What? <laughs> You do. I, I did. I never smacked you in the face. No, I'm not saying you do. You always what? say, yeah, then we'll do a dance and then I'll smack you in the face. It's always oh, off camera. It. It's a Anyways. Saying. A saying. It's a yeah. saying. That's, oh, that's I was sausage. like, please don't tell the viewers I smack no. people. I've never, I don't I, hit people. No. That's I promise. No. so hot it'll smack you in the face. There we go. I, I said it'll make you, it's so good it'll make you smack your mama. There, there we go. There you go. Now that, but yeah. I'd never smack my mama. Yeah. No. No, she'd smack you back. I guarantee. She would. Oh, she has. Well. 
yeah, that's why we're all better people for mm -hmm. it. So, exactly. <laughs> uh, anyway, we won't go any further with that comment I just made. So it's time uh, for a couple stories here. One that uh, I, this story, I saw this this morning, and I just thought pure heroics by this person. If you've ever been to a ball game before, maybe you've, uh, you know, you've seen like, all right, if the team scores this many points, everybody here gets a free hot dog or something like that, like a little promo yeah. of some sort. Well, that's actually what happened at a game last night in Los Angeles. The LA Clippers hosted the Houston Rockets. And if a Rockets player missed two straight free throws at any point, free chicken for everybody. What? <gasps> okay. So one opposing player decided to be a man of the people. This is former Clipper, Boban Marjanovic. He missed his first free throw. He knew it was on the line. Seemingly telling the crowd, I got you. Missing his second one. <gasps> Maybe on purpose. Oh. The game was already well in hand by this point. See, he misses it and goes, I got you, folks. I wow. Never seen anyone happier about missing a shot uh, at their job. But, yeah, there he goes. I got you. Free chicken? Yep. I got you right here. And uh, that was it. Afterward, the crowd erupts with cheers. Free chicken from their guy. That's a lot of chicken. Yes, it is. That that's is a lot of chicken. That's so, a lot of people. Have you ever seen the movie um, Semi-Pro with Will Ferrell? Yes. Have you seen that one? Yeah. It's, uh, uh, it, the reference there is uh, that the owner of the team, it was going to be free corn dogs if they hit a certain point. Oh. He was actively rooting against, is a player and the coach, Jackie Moon, actively rooting against his team. So he didn't have to give everyone free corn dogs because the team's trying to save money. I guess. Yeah. So yeah. it's such a funny bit in the movie. But uh, yeah. Oh, Jesse, kind of when you started me, that story, so. you know what it reminded me of? Because I do what? little challenges with myself at home. Uh -huh. So, for, for example, yeah. I'm in my car and I'm uh -huh. cleaning it out and I throw something into uh -huh. the trash across the way. I'm like, okay, if I make this, it'll be a really good day. <laughs> yeah. You know, or, or hey, uh -huh. if I make this and if I spill, pour this coffee and it doesn't spill, X, Y, and Z is going to happen. You know, or, oh, you know I do little bets yeah, with myself. You, yeah. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Mental bets. Me and uh, the fiance, we will do the same thing. Like, uh, like uh, we'll do it with like throwing food into each other's mouths. Gosh, we're weird. Well, you're <laughs> good at that, Jesse. That's that fine. is one Very of my good. hidden talents. <laughs> it's uh, whew. I'm a little rusty nowadays, though. You know, in my <laughs> older age. Oh. So. <laughs> Your yeah. neck doesn't. Yeah, the, fall I don't back have as much for the popcorn. Quite the same pliability and. Uh, yeah. But Jesse, you know how many times <laughs> we've been cooking and Jesse walks into the news <laughs> and I just like will throw something and he and just like. like Catches it. He's amazing. Dun, 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 dun. You know, you're like a golden retriever. You just yes. know. Yep. <laughs> uh, when it's in the air, game on, folks. Yeah. Game now, on. Jesse, I do have a question. Did you ever dress up as semi-pro? Because that was a huge That was like, a pretty Halloween. popular costume. It no. was at that point. One of my best friends did, though. Okay. He, he definitely wore the uh, Jackie Moon getup. Um, yeah, I believe it's rated R, so okay. you've been warned. You've been warned. You ever, <laughs> if you ever go see it uh, on DVD, maybe in the $5 bin at the store or something. All right, another one here for you. It's tax day, by the way. You guys already all set for Done. taxes? Uh-oh. I do know something today, and this is not an ad or anything, but Krispy Kreme is giving away... Ha-ha! <laughs> are you taking his Nailed story? it. Did I really? Nailed it. Perfect. Oh, okay, okay. Let's sorry. Roll that video, folks. Oh okay. Several companies offering a break for folks for tax day. Krispy Kreme customers who buy a dozen original glazed donuts. You can get a second dozen for just the price of your state's sales tax. Ooh. And I forgot what it is in Missouri and Me Arkansas. Either. But <laughs> I'm sure uh, Jake could whip that up real quick. Uh, 4%. Sorry, I've just Go given ahead. you uh, <laughs> a task to do there, Jake. Uh, California Pizza Kitchen, they're offering free dollar, uh, $10 for folks on a $40 purchase. We don't have one uh, anywhere near us, as far mm -hmm. as I know. But Grubhub also offering the first 1,000 customers who use the code tax break 15 bucks off their delivery of $25 or more. So. 4.225% here I said, in the so quick. State. That was pretty good, Jeremy. That's, I was, hey. And you didn't overbid. I did a Price is Right rules, I win. Yeah, you he, win. He wins. There you go. You what win all those deals. Wait, hold up. Wait. Six. What? 6.5 in Arkansas. Oh my I had no idea it was so high in Arkansas. The natural state, uh, naturally, a little higher taxes there. What? Yeah. There you go. Um, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but sorry, you just brought something up. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. just triggered the memory. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, just, just throwing it out there in, in happy or just like in celebration, April 15th. Mm -hmm. My grandmother passed from breast cancer 30 years ago today. Oh I my just gosh. remembered as you said. 30 years. 30, and, what, and it seems like yesterday. Sorry, oh. when you said April 15th, it just like, yeah. I went, oh my that, gosh, that, April That 15th. date just yes. sticks in the it mind. It sticks huh? in your brain, yeah. not only tax day, but that. But it's a celebration in heaven this yeah. morning because of her being there. 30 and years. And it feels like yesterday, but I was like, wow. When my mom texted, I was like, uh -huh. 30 
believe they. It doesn't even seem like that though. The thirtieth heavenly birthday. Norma, Grandma Norma. Grandma in Norma. Oh. Look Thirty down years. On a She's having today. a party. She's having a party up there. She ain't worried about nothing down there. Yeah. She is. She's like, mm -mm, she's got free Krispy Kremes all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, she does. does. <laughs> yeah. She's like this, and it just arrives. Arrives. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Tom Schmidt, we have missed, I mean, we have been loving this weather, but we, you know, we've missed seeing your face over the past two days of not seeing you. Hey, Tom. Yeah. How are you? Well, well the weekends go by long, don't they? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. No, one. they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they go by quick. This weekend it was gorgeous and it went by way too fast. Yeah. It was a nice one. Hey, we got the, the warmest we've been so far for 2024 was yesterday 83 mm. degrees. I'll wow. take it. Wow. You go. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. It's going that way. Let's I, keep obviously, it's not going to be the warmest we're ever going to be, right? But we're going to get a whole lot warmer from here.